is here visiting. Hi. And here's Paisel saying, hello, I'm going to do makeups. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Paisel. Hello? She's like my face now. Hi. Hi. She's waving too. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be doing a just kind of 20 questions tag about makeup and ways that we apply, things that we like, things like that. So we're just going to hop straight on into it. Um, I do it with my fingers. Right now I'm using the Revlon Nearly Naked in Ivory. Um, and since I'm kind of new to liquid foundation, I just feel more comfortable using my fingers. I feel like I have more, like, more control. Um, I so a lot of people start out like that. Yeah, I think maybe eventually I might get a brush, but um, that's what I do right now. So. Okay, well, I use a brush. It's a brush from Sonia Kashuk, so just kind of target brush. Probably want to upgrade sooner or later, because I'm not a super fan of it, but at least it's decent. And I use that to mix my two foundations of Makeup Forever HD and MAC Match Master. So personally, I apply my eyeshadows usually from lightest to darkest, just because I find that it's the easiest for me to blend. Um, occasionally, if I'm doing just like a smoky eye, I'll kind of start with the medium dark, go to light, and then put the darkest color on. Kind of backwards and crazy, but yeah, that's kind of typically how I usually do it. I also do light to dark, but that's also because I'm really afraid of dark colors, um, because I'm scared of dark colors on my face, but um, yeah, if I start out lighter, then it's easier to figure out where the line is of being too dark. Until a week ago, I didn't prime. <laughs> and a week ago, I went out and got the NARS, um, what is this actually called, smudge proof eyeshadow base. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's a really good one. Oh my gosh, there's such a huge difference. If you're not priming your eyes now for eyeshadow and eyeliner, you should do it because I am shocked at how much better my eyeshadow stays and there's so much less like smudging and like, you know, before your eyes fall out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't do it before. So I really recommend it and this is a good one. Jenny told me to go for it. So yeah, that's definitely a good yeah. one. Um, I've also gone and used Urban Decay's primer. But um, lately what I've really been doing is just using, oops, wrong box. <laughs> Usually I've been using um, Maybelline Color Tattoos or Max Paint Pots. So they look like this. And they're just usually some kind of cream eyeshadow style thing. And for me it works pretty well. My eyelids get a little oily, so um, I kind of like having that thicker base just to kind of really make sure it sets and stays for the whole day. Personally, it kind of depends on um, what concealer I'm using. Currently, I'm trying out Glamouflage by Hard Candy. If you want a review of this, I can totally do that. Um, but for this one, I kind of first tried it out underneath the foundation, and then I tried it on over foundation. And um, this one's kind of a little lighter than my foundation, so either way, I always end up putting at least a little bit more foundation over it. But typically, before using this, I would usually do my concealer after my foundation. I do my concealer after because sometimes um, my foundation actually will cover all the redness that I want to get rid of, um, but for days where I have a particularly nasty blemish, I like to use the Maybelline Cover Stick, and I think this is an ivory, um, and I like that this is, you know, like it really is like a stick. It feels like the consistency of a lipstick, mm -hmm. and I love that I can dab it on top and like really blend it in with the foundation well. Um, and I also like that I can reapply it during the day, so um, it's mostly because my concealer works best, I think, on the outside. So. Yeah, I think it's good to do your foundation first because then it kind of covers a bunch of extra stuff. Absolutely. I go to Ginny for my nails. Um, <laughs> uh, sometimes I'll do it myself, but um, we were roommates, uh, was it last year? Yeah, it was last in year. In our dorms, and she would just be like, hey, can I do your nails? And what person <laughs> would say no? <laughs> so um, she's actually really, really good at it, so whenever we're having girls' nights, I'm like, hey, Ginny. Well, thank you. So <laughs> honestly, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, so. I've, I've gone to the salon maybe two or three times <laughs> ever to get my nails done. I usually just do it myself, one, because I'm lazy, Two, because I don't want to spend the money, and three, because I rarely ever have my nails painted, like, ever. Hey, Ginny. Maybe, <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> I exfoliate both my face and my lips. Probably more my face than my lips. For me, um, if you just saw my recent skincare video, you saw this in it, and it's the Arbon FC5 Exfoliating New Cell Scrub, and it's a really just gentle scrub that I use on my face. I think I said it smelled carroty. 
Yeah, it kind of smells really fresh. Um, I like it a lot. And it's just a really gentle scrub. I've also been trying out um, Lush's Dark Angels Cleanser Face Wash, and I really like that as well. It is very messy, but I do enjoy the results of it. And the product that Jenny is going to be telling you about in a second, I use as well. Yes, I. we both use this. I didn't bring it, but um, it is the Lush Sweet Lips Lip Scrub. And Delicious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it tastes like... Everything yummy, vanilla, yeah, it's like vanilla, chocolate, like caramel, delicious know, awesomeness. But it's just like in this little jar, and it's a little bit messy. But um, um, I think it it's really works. It's edible too. Oh yeah, which is awesome. You just put it on your lips and eat it. Yeah, you just like lick it off, and you just have to make sure you get rid of all the little dots, or else you'll walk out and be like, have sugar face. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so I use this too. This is Jenny. Um, I do not exfoliate my face right now because I actually am kind of going through a phase where I have super sensitive skin. It's winter and um, so I'm really trying to battle dryness as well. Um, the face wash I use that I'm going to show you later actually has something in it that kind of works as an exfoliator. Mm -hmm. um, but when it gets back to the warmer months and my skin will kind of become a little bit more oily, I plan on going to get um, Lush's Ocean Salt Scrub, or it's not even scrub, it's just Ocean Salt. Mm -hmm. But um, apparently it's one of the best exfoliators out there and I'm a little bit obsessed with Lush right now, which I'll talk about later. It depends whether I'm doing a full face or just um, bare minimum. Um, mm -hmm. On days where I'm just going to class in the morning, sometimes I just throw on like mascara and a little bit of cover up and I'm done. So in that case, sometimes like a minute. But if I'm doing a full face, it can take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I get a little nervous. So. I'm a perfectionist too. Yeah. 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 Um, personally, I'm either wearing makeup or I'm not wearing makeup. <laughs> kind of. There are a couple of days where I do kind of a really natural look, but um, if it's one of those days, it'll probably take me 10, 15 minutes because I am a super perfectionist. I hate any kind of dot of mascara anywhere, any like line that's not perfect. It's really horrible. I'm like OCD about it, but yeah, it's really bad. But um, if I'm doing a kind of more dramatic eye, I'd say usually probably more towards a half an hour, mainly because I want to just make sure everything looks really well put together. You're really fast too. Like when she was putting on her makeup earlier, like in the time it took me to just like check my Facebook status, she was already done. So I'm really I feel impressed. like it takes me quite a while. It takes me forever because I'm like, ah! But she's really fast. Well thanks. Yeah. I wear makeup almost every single day just because I work almost every day. And days that I'm not working I'm usually filming YouTube. So I usually wear makeup pretty much almost every day, but I try to have at least one day a week where I don't wear any makeup just so I can kind of let my skin breathe and kind of refresh itself a little bit. My answer is almost exactly the same. Um, <laughs> we also work together, so yeah. like the same days like that I work, yeah, I try to do a bit more um, makeup, which is why eyeshadow primer is very good for those long days. Because um, we're students and workers. <laughs> yes, so not a lot of... Breaks. Not a lot of downtime. On Saturdays are usually my days that um, I don't put anything on. Mm -hmm. um, I just suck it up and go out into the world with a bare face just to kind of give a little bit of a breather like Jenny does too. It's bags, clothes, and makeup are like my three favorite <laughs> things they, and they've always been my favorite things. Bags, I used to have a ton and my mom would always be like, you have to throw away two of your old bags before you buy a new <laughs> one. And clothes, it would always be the That's same the thing worst. with jackets. You have to throw away two jackets before you can buy a new one. So those were things I've been obsessed with for a long time. And the makeup's kind of a newer obsession. So I, I wouldn't even know what to say for that, honestly. I can handle not buying clothes and bags and makeup, but they're all really fun to go out and just like mess around with. And I just, I think they're all fun. <laughs> the whole time you're talking, I'm trying to pick mine <laughs> because it's such a hard list. I think I'm gonna have to say my weakness is shoes and I really blame my mom for this because <laughs> she took me with her whenever she went on her shoe adventures and we're very deadly especially in DSW oh my gosh yeah. DSW look out my mom and I are ferocious there uh, I don't because well I, I used to I used to do the crest whitening strips and they actually worked the thing is, um, we were actually in an osteology course together, and um, for those of you who don't know, that's actually like wet bones. We were doing the human skeleton, mm -hmm. and um, 
So the uh, professor was telling us about how damaging that actually is to your teeth and it makes it incredibly sensitive and damaged and you know it's just it's not a really good idea unless you go like really really safe routes. Um, mm -hmm. So the combination of that and the fact that my boyfriend's mom is a dentist, um, I've just heard too many bad things about the whitening products. So yeah. it's hard because I want white teeth but I also don't want to damage my teeth so I don't. Yeah, I figure, uh, I've kind of wanted to try it, but I figure if I'm ever going to actually do it, it would be for some really special event, like my yeah. wedding or something, just to make sure that I look really good in photos, just because, again, I've had all those stories <laughs> of all these, like, weird things happening if you whiten your teeth, so I probably wouldn't do it on an average basis, mm -hmm. but maybe for something special like a wedding or something, I would maybe actually just go for it that one time. Can we Yeah, I'll do either one. Um, if it's going to be waxing, I'll go somewhere just because I can't do that to myself. I can barely pluck myself and be okay with it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I use just normal tweezers from like Tweezer Man or something like that. And I'll do my pluck my own eyebrows. But usually back home I would get them waxed. And now that I'm at school, I kind of just pluck them because I don't really have time to go into salon. I do not pluck or wax because um, my eyelashes and eyebrows are naturally white blonde. So I actually use, um, this is uh, Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ash Blonde. It's just, it's a really, really tiny applicator, but um, I have to draw them in. I have a nice shape already, at least I like my shape. Oh yeah, you have um, very nice eyebrows. Well, thank you. Problem is you can't see them, so I... But I don't pluck them because you can't even see them in the first place. So contouring, I just kind of recently got into that. Personally, for my contouring, I use Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Soleil. I have no idea French. how it's really pronounced. I would Sun. say Soleil. <laughs> we'll translate it for English. But um, it looks like this. It smells like chocolate for reals. It's amazing. And um, yeah. I can just like smell it, it's amazing. She used to buy it earlier. Oh. Yeah, and you just, if you're spare skinned like we are, just a really light hand with this and it looks really, really great and mm -hmm. gives you just a very natural contour. Um, I haven't really dabbled in the contouring world yet, but um, today Jenny showed me some tips and she helped me figure out how to use um, my blush in a correct way. <laughs> um, so this is actually the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Natural. Um, I just picked this up the other day. It's really good for fair-skinned people, um, mm. but it's, I mean, I already have a really long face, so it doesn't take too much to really um, give me a contours, but uh, I learned some tricks today, so I will start. Natural. I'm sorry. I'm so afraid of putting things like that on my eyelashes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a natural eyelash girl too, but I do have one pair of false eyelashes sitting in my makeup drawer <laughs> okay. and I'm kind of terrified to try them out and I keep thinking I should totally film myself for the first time trying <laughs> to put those on because it's going to be hilarious because I'm just going to be freaking out and I'm probably going to glue my eyelids together. It's going to be fantastic. I'll come rescue you if Okay, <laughs> yeah, you better because I'm not going to know what the heck is going on. My favorite brand is actually, I don't have a lot of things from them right now, but it's actually Clinique because when I first started wearing makeup, um, my mom took me to the Clinique counter at the mall and they did a little makeover on me and it was so much fun because the ladies were super, super nice and the products were really, really gentle and with nice subtle colors and um, I actually wore Clinique all throughout high school too and it was only until college that I actually started buying other things. So I really like that I can always go back to them for the natural looking products and I know that they do work. I'm just trying to find things that fit where my skin and features are at right now. So I have a very like, you know, nostalgic sort of thing for Clinique. That's lucky that so. you, like the first one that you tried is something oh, that you yeah. really love. Mm -hmm. And it is a little bit higher end, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. my mother wanted me to know what quality makeup was like. So yeah. I appreciate that. I, I think you definitely get better products for more money because personally I have a couple favorites just because there are certain things that I like from different brands. One overall brand that I really love is MAC. If you watch my tutorials you probably will always see at least one or two MAC products in it. I just think overall their collections and what they have to offer is just all really great quality, all really good colors, all really great brushes, like sprays, like everything that I've tried so far I haven't had a problem with. And I also really love Urban Decay, mainly for their eyeshadows and their eyeliners, just because their eyeshadows have fantastic quality, fantastic pigments. They work with pretty much almost any skin tone. 
And then another favorite I have is Revlon because they have been kicking butt this past year with their products. As you know, Revlon lip butter is one of my favorite things, but they've been coming out with all kinds of fantastic products this past year, so I think they're really doing a great job. I really like liquid or gel liner just because I can never get a stinking line right <laughs> when I try to use a pencil. It's fine if I'm doing it in my waterline or my tight line, but if I'm trying to do it on the top of my lid, I just, I can not. I've tried for years to get this and I just, I absolutely cannot do it. So in my time of trying to figure out what I like gel and liquid wise, I really like the MAC Fluid Line Eyeliner Gel in the color Black Track. And it's just this black eyeliner gel. I use an angled brush to apply that. And then my other favorite that I found way back in high school, which is like seven years ago now, almost. No, we're old. I know. It's kind of sad. Um, oh, is gosh. the Maybelline Line Stiletto. And it's just kind of like a pointed eyeliner pen, and I love it because it gives you a super great precise line. Um, I actually... I don't know what category coal liner falls under. That'd be a pencil liner. Pencil, okay, good. Yeah, good for um, smudging. I'm actually going to pull out one of my little nostalgic pieces of makeup here. Obviously, you can tell this is running out. Very well used. Yeah, this is the Clinique Coal Liner, and, um, oh gosh, see the, the name's not even on there anymore. Number three, Black and Ta. Ta. <laughs> Taupe, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, um, yeah. But I like, I mean, this is maybe my third one of this, and, um, it's just, I love the color. It's a perfect color. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the consistency. But anyway, I like how you can smudge this. It can be solid. You know, I love that it can have so many different textures, and it works best on my eyes. I would like to say, uh, tinted chapstick, but, um, I think I kind of have that's, to pick that's one. That's kind it of does. a thing. Okay, I really like tinted chapstick because I think it's really important to moisturize, and we're in winter right now, so that's mm -hmm. big. Um, but I also really like, um, this is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, and it's kind of scary looking because, um... Yeah, this freaked me out when she yeah, first showed it to me. I was like, what? I pulled it out, and Jamie's like, whew. I mean, I don't know if this will show up, but like, it's really it looks black. It looks black, but I'm actually wearing it right now. I threw it on before the video so I could show you. It comes off this really lovely color, and it suits a variety of skin tones. So, I mean, if this could be a category, almost lipstick is what I like. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like Revlon lip butter, that kind yeah. of thing. Just tinted oh. lip balms. Oh gosh, here's Jen. yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we all know Revlon lip butters. Those are like my thing. I have a ton of them, and this isn't even all the ones that I own, but. As Jenny said, tinted lip balm, awesome, okay. I love it. But also, I do chapstick. I've always been a chapstick girl. I've never been lip glossy, because I hate that it's sticky, it's just like, ugh, gross. <laughs> but if I was gonna go for a lipstick, I would probably honestly say my favorite one is Japanese Maple by MAC. And it's this really great pink nude. And I know I show it all the time, but it's probably just because I'm obsessed with it, just like my lip butters. <laughs> a cream eyeshadow as a base, so like paint pots, things like that, and then, um, what's really the difference between a pigment and a pressed powder? A pressed one is probably like what you normally have, right? Yeah, I think so, so I'd probably go with a pressed powder over it, pressed eyeshadow, because pigments are the ones that are all loose, and that just freaks me out because I'm just like, all I can think in my head is fallout. All over my face, all over the desk, just doesn't seem pretty to me. <laughs> I like press because I like feeling I'm in control. Um, mm -hmm. So, and I like that it blends really nicely, and for the most part, it can usually be pretty easy to remove. If you want. Neutral, dramatic. Um, we were laughing about this question earlier because I really think that I can't pull off a dramatic eye, but Jenny did a lovely tutorial um, on the look you're seeing right here. So, she did a dramatic eye for my date night tonight. Um, and it's like a natural dramatic eye, yeah. kind of like somewhere in the middle for someone who's a little terrified of those. Yes, with like black eyes. <laughs> yes. So I I really like dramatic eye, but um, I just have to learn how to do it to myself. Um, obviously, I guess I can do it. I can wear it mm -hmm. thanks to Jenny. Yeah. So yeah. Um, personally, I don't usually go for a dramatic eye just because it takes quite a while longer to do. I kind of go somewhere in the middle because I like a smoky eye, but I don't want it to be like black bam in your face I'm like going out for the night kind of thing so usually it's just a very natural neutral brown smoky eye for my almost everyday look it's always gonna be quality of the product because if you have a crappy product it's, it's not gonna be worth any money for a brand name 
honestly, like, if you said that the best makeup was from, like, Wet n Wild, which is, like, $2, <laughs> I'd be like, yes. I'd be really happy. Yeah, I'd be like, that's amazing. <laughs> Cheap and good. Yeah. Honestly, I, I would definitely rather go for quality. I mean, I agree with Jenny. My biggest craze right now is actually um, about my skincare routine. So um, I have really sensitive dry skin, especially now in winter, and I have finally found something that works. I mean, some random people are saying to me, okay, no offense, but your skin looks way better. What are you doing? And I actually take that as a compliment. So, mm -hmm. um, But uh, Jenny, um, her hometown is actually close to um, Lush stores, and I'm not. I'm School from, is nowhere close to a yeah, Lush store. <laughs> and I'm from a small town, and I don't want to pay shipping. So um, over winter break, Jenny so kindly went to Lush and picked me up um, this Angels on Bare Skin um, face wash. And it is. it looks kind of funky on the inside. I'm sure by now <laughs> a lot of you have heard about this, but um, I'm almost out. Um, I don't know if you can see, but do you see how there's little seeds in there and such? Mm -hmm. Um, that's actually what I was talking about earlier with um, exfoliation because that actually does do some and it works really well. But um, I love Lush. Oh my gosh. So I use this and then I use um, this. Oh gosh, I was going to practice my French. Roma water. Oh gosh. E A U spelled Roma water. Um, it's just like a toner and it smells. Mm, it's a. Uh, Lavender. I know you don't like it. It's but, very uh, florally. I'm not a floral so. person, but for people who like floral scents, that's it's definitely good. great. I just, I mean, I this is the only kind of thing. I mean, I use makeup remover, but this is the only cleanser I use. And then I use this toner and moisturizer, and I'm done. And my skin has just cleared up so much, and it's so much softer. I am, I'm a huge, 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 like lush fan now. So it worked for me. I hope it works for you guys too. Okay, I'm gonna do two really random things <laughs> just because I can. One is tea. I love tea. I like this. It's cinnamon apple spice tea, and I've mm. been drinking it a lot since it's been wintry, and I'm gonna smell it. Oh, it just smells like awesome cinnamon oh my pie. Gosh. It's amazing. Oh my god, I know, right? You can steal some. I have to. <laughs> but it's delicious. I love this stuff. Um, so that's kind of mm. been an addiction of mine, drinking that. And then one more random thing. I've been using this deodorant for like a year now because of Jenny, because she had this and I was like, wow, that's really good. <laughs> this is going to sound really strange, but she had it on her thing and I smelled it one day. <laughs> this is my first time hearing this. <laughs> really? You didn't notice that I did that? You were in the room when I did it. Clearly I but was. I smelled her deodorant and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells really good. And so I went out and bought some and for like the past year I've been like loving this deodorant. That's really hilarious. Random. <laughs> it's good stuff. I mean, it if you're sweating, it smells good. It, it, yeah, Od way. oddly enough, it really actually does smell good. That is so funny. <laughs> I didn't know that. I am so surprised you didn't know that I did oh, that. Gosh. You were like right there when I did it, too. <laughs> I have a bad memory, I guess. It's all good. Um, my next one is actually another recent purchase. It is the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. It just comes in this teeny tiny little vial. Um, I think this is about nine bucks, but a little goes a long way. It's a very pungent smell. I don't know if you smelled this earlier. Ooh, wow, yeah. Um, you can either pungent. put a couple drops in your hand or put a Q-tip here and use that. But anyway, um, I put it on really bad breakouts. I'm trying so hard to not touch my face as much and trying really hard it's really to really hard to do that. <laughs> yeah, like the urge to break open blemishes. Um, so, but you put this on and you can put on like several times throughout the day, and oh my gosh, like it'll be gone for me at least in like 24 hours. It's amazing stuff. I I'm, I'm honestly it. thinking about making a purchase because yeah. that sounds awesome. I wish I could like give you a little bit, but I don't know how to do that. But it's, <laughs> for me, it works really well. I know some people had mixed reviews on it, but I, I love how much it's working. Okay, so another one of my current obsessions is the MAC Studio Moisture Cream. This one's just a little travel-sized one, but um, I find that even though I have oily skin, when it's winter like this and you've got crazy wind and you've got this like extreme cold, your face is just going to get chapped. It's just going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I like using this a lot, um, either right before I put my makeup on, just kind of as a really good moisture lock-in for the rest of the day, or right before I go to bed, just kind of as like a restorative type cream for my face so it doesn't get extremely dried out. My next product is also for dry skin. It is the Burt's Bees Hand Salve, a farmer's friend. Um, and it's just my hands are so dry right now. It's to dry awful. this. It's this, you know, like, I don't know what you call this. It smells it's like, like beeswax. Yeah, I mean, I love Bird's Bees, and I put this on my knuckles mm -hmm. and the back of my hand because um, in winter, my knuckles actually, and like around my fingers, start to um, bleed. 
So now I get chapped. You should really try some then, because I, I think it's wonderful, and I know this is going to last me forever. Um, but yeah, this has been working so well for me, and I love it. I put some on every night before I go to bed and every morning, so I really love this stuff. Is my dry shampoo. Love this stuff. I had no idea how magical dry shampoo was until I tried this product. It's amazing. It's called Psst. <laughs> I love that. Every time. It's Psst. Instant dry shampoo. And this one um, really doesn't have a scent. Like, some of them have fruity scents or whatever. This one just smells like shampoo. It just smells clean and fresh and awesome. And um, I like using that on days kind of when your hair, your roots get a little flat and limp or a little greasy, but you've only like, you showered yesterday or something. So, because I'm definitely not a person who washes my hair every single day because that really damages it. You shouldn't wash your hair. Yeah, it's, it's definitely really bad for it. But love that thing because it just, it makes my hair smell really clean and really fresh. And I just like the way that it works with my, my hair. Mm -hmm. yep. So we hope you guys enjoyed watching us and learned a little bit. And we will talk to you very soon. Bye. Bye.